Hey guys, it's DJ with Flash Attack Reviews, and today we're reviewing Super Mario Flash. This game is pretty much just a clone of the old Mario games where you run from left to right, attacking Goombas and Koopas and throwing fireballs and whatnot, getting power ups, trying to get to the flagpole. The sound in this game are. they're all from the old Mario games, so there's really nothing new here. And they do play the music from the old Mario games, which is a good thing. The graphics in this game are from the remake Super Mario All Stars for the Super Nintendo, but they're not the cleanest looking graphics ever. They're not the best. This game, like I said, is nothing new. It's the same as the old games. And also, the controls in this game aren't very good. They're kind of loose and they just don't feel right. Plus, up is jump, which usually isn't a good thing. The challenge in this game is alright. Some of the levels can be pretty hard, and others can just be really simple and boring. It's a good time waster, and I don't actually know how many levels this game has. I could never make it through all of them. A good thing about this game is the level creator. The level creator, you pick a character, pick a background, you pick the tiles you want, the enemies you want, and just whatever you want. The power-ups, you can even pick the music and where the flagpole is. You can even put multiple Bowsers in one level if that's what you want. Also, a good thing about this game is you can pick between either Lu Mario or Luigi. It's not you don't have to play as Mario if it's only one player. The game's kind of fun, but it does get boring. A bad thing about the game though is the levels aren't really put together really well. There'll be random enemies or random blocks and stuff. And like I said, the controls don't feel like Mario. They feel like a knockoff. So, Flash Attack Reviews gives this game a 5 stars out of 10. Thanks for watching and keep watching our videos. We'll have more up later.